James chapter 1 and verse uh, 2, a fairly familiar passage says, Count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds, for you know that the testing of your faith pr produces steadfastness, and let steadfastness have its full effect that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. I guess as I, I, as I age, as I get older, there's passages such as this one that, that kind of become a little more clear to me, uh, a little bit more focused on it. And I guess that's, I guess that's common, you know, as you get older and, and hopefully a little bit more mature and maybe, you know, grow spiritually, these things kind of make a little bit more sense and they kind of mean a few things. Uh, and again, in, in, the, in the context of as you live, uh, you realize, you know, life is pretty much unstable at times, isn't it? I, uh, I'm amazed that, that in my life I can have things going in the right direction and, you know, things will be good and things will be all right. And, you know, you think, man, this is, this is good. Everything's just perfect. And then out of nowhere, something happens and just kind of blindsides you and just bam, you know. You're kind of derailed, and you've got to kind of regroup and refocus, and the trials and the, the tribulations and all the things that we have in life kind of come at us from all different kind of uh, types of directions, and you just kind of have to deal with those things. Um, an example, in, in actually a prayer request, request uh, our daughter Haley, she, she uh, lives in uh, Little Rock, and she teaches down there. She lives in Little Rock. She has a friend. Uh, a guy named Josh Earls, and he's 20 years old. And uh, recently he's been having some weird things happening to him. He's been having some seizure-like things going on, and so they've been running tests and all the things that they do, and they've found out today that he has a brain tumor, a cancerous brain tumor. He's 20 years old, you know, and, and having to deal with that sort of thing. So Josh Earls is his name, so I'd appreciate if you keep him in your prayer list. But that's just one of those examples of how life just hits us sometimes. It may be something at work or job related. It may be health related. It could be something f family. And it tells us really two things, or tells me as I experience more and more of these things. Number one, life is just unstable. This world is unstable. Uh, and number two, the older I get, I realize the weaker that I truly am. That's physically, that's emotionally, that's spiritually weaker I am on my own, I guess you could say. Uh, I don't have things figured out. I don't have my life under control. Um, and I think that's part of God's plan, too, is that when we think we have our life under control, then we realize something happens and we don't have it. So those are two things that, you know, life is not stable, and I'm not really in control of my life. I'm not that strong. Those are things that I learn more and more as I get older. But the most important thing that I feel and uh, that I realize is that, you know, God is stable. God is strong. He is powerful. And he can handle all the, the junk and all the problems that I have in my life. And I think that's what this passage in, in James is talking about, how your faith gets perfected through trials. Uh, and that's something that, that encourages me, that uh, you can turn to God's word, you can turn to God through these difficult times, through the difficult things that we, that we face in this world, in this life. I want to, I, I really don't know if I have a point to this, Devo, if I'm just up here pontificating or <laughs> rambling, so, but another passage that is just one of these go-to passages that you just, when you talk about things like this, it just, it, it, it makes things a, a lot more clear, I think, in life. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5, it's a very familiar passage says, trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. Be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. It will be healing to your flesh and refreshment to your bones. If you have a need tonight, if there's anything you are struggling with in your life and you need the prayers of this church, or if you need to become a child of God, come as we stand and sing.